Okay, so let's unpack everything that we've coded up so far. The first thing that we've done is we've imported these functionalities from Solana for us to use later on. Now, if some of these don't make sense to you right now, don't worry, because that's what this video is for. I'll be explaining them right here. The first thing that we've done besides that is make a new key pair called new pair. So what is a key pair? A key pair is essentially a public key and a private key. And these keys are so that we can send money to and from a wallet. And we can call this money as tokens. Every public key matches to one and only one private key. We can then extract these keys down over here using dot public key for the public key and dot secret key for the secret key. Another thing to note is that public key has a special format, so we can format it like that using public key over here. If you're having trouble thinking about what a key pair and wallet is, you can think about it like a mailbox. And this is where I draw or try to draw a mailbox. And we can give it like a nice little lane here. So with the public key, you can get the address of where this mailbox is and you can send mail to it. In Solana, we can call these soul tokens. Now, the only way that you can read this mail and open up the mailbox is with a private key. In Solana, you can think about this as using and proving ownership of tokens. So this is why you do not want to share your private key with anyone. The last thing that we do here is make a connection to a Solana cluster. Since we're in the developing stage, we are connecting to the devnet. And this is how you specify a devnet. And with the devnet, we're allowed to play around with fake tokens with no consequences. And finally, to see everything that we've done so far, we just console log the public key and the connection. I'm now going to switch over to my laptop so we can see what happens when we run this. All right, so if we run this, we get this huge piece of text, which I will unpack back on my iPad. Okay, so I've put everything onto the screen here and I even had to cut some stuff out because it was too long to even fit everything. But the first thing that we notice is a public key and it generates this key pair over here. The next thing is to do with the connection, which is a super long piece of string. But what I'll point out for now is something called an RPC endpoint. RPC stands for Remote Procedure Call. And what an RPC endpoint is, is essentially a node's address. And it's basically a URL where you can send requests for blockchain data. So that's everything all unpacked for now. You can give yourself a pat on the back for creating your first key pair and connecting to the Solana DevNet. Woo!